Here we'll be solving a geometric problem of constructing this triangle ABC from its perimeter, say 320 millimeters, and angles A equal to 40 degrees and B equal to 70 degrees. The difficulty here is obvious. The length given to us, the perimeter, the sum of these three sides, is not lying along the same straight line. And therefore, we cannot use a straight edge or a ruler to measure that length. So we'll have to somehow take these three sides and lay them one next to the other in a straight line. For that, we'll be using a plane mirror so as to form an image of this side, say AC, to lie along this line AB extended. At the end of this segment, of course, I'll be getting the image of this vertex C also. So that will be C dash and the mirror will be passing through A because that is where the image and the object meet. Just place your finger on the mirror and you will see image and object meeting at the point on the mirror. So it will be passing through A. Moreover, it will be equally inclined to the image and object. So it is bound to be the bisector of the angle formed here. But let us see some more ways of getting that mirror's position and orientation. For that, I am going to connect uh, points C dash and C, the image and the object. And the mirror will be symmetrically placed between the two. So it is bound to be uh, passing through the midpoint of this line C, C dash. Moreover, these two segments are actually the object and the image. And the mirror is equally inclined to them. And they are lying along the same straight line. So the mirror will be the perpendicular bisector of C, C dash. Uh, we have come up with this alternate definitions of mirror, like the angle bisector or the perpendicular bisector or even the median, so that while constructing, we have a choice. Depending upon what we have, we may use one of these definitions. For example, if you don't have this angle, you can't use the angle bisector definition. Then you will have to go for, say, this uh, perpendicular bisector definition of the mirror. So we have created some choice for ourselves. Okay, now let us look at the triangle that is formed here, say C dash A C. Of course, it is going to be isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal. And therefore, these two angles, say C dash and C are going to be equal. Moreover, their sum will be equal to this external angle 40 degrees. And therefore, each one of them will be 20 degrees. So this angle C dash is going to be 20 degrees. Uh, the same will be true on the other side. We are going to take the side CB and lay its image using some plane mirror uh, along AB extended. Then we'll be getting uh, another image of vertex C. Let's call it C double dash. We'll connect it to C. The perpendicular bisector of this side CC dash is going to be the mirror which will also pass through point B. Like over here, uh, angle at C double dash is going to be half of 70 degrees, which is 35 degrees. And now we have all the components needed for coming up with a construction. So let us look at this triangle, say C dash, C double dash and C. Its base is going to be the perimeter because it is the sum of these three segments. These two angles are known 20 degrees and 35 degrees. And when we construct those angles, these segments are going to meet at uh, vertex C. Then if we take the perpendicular bisectors of these two sides, say C dash C and C C double dash, then they are going to meet the base at the points we need A and B. Let us finally convert this into a formal construction. For that, we will start with uh, the perimeter, say C dash C double dash equal to 320 millimeters. We'll erect angle 35 degrees, which is half of the given angle 70 degrees from one end. And from the other, we'll erect half of 40 degrees equal to 20 degrees. Wherever the two lines meet is our vertex C. Then we'll take the perpendicular bisector of this segment C dash C, which will meet the base at point A. And the perpendicular bisector of C, C double prime is going to meet the base at vertex B. Once we have all the three vertices A, B and C, the triangle ABC can be constructed.